Jet Li, Jet Li yeah. was awesome. That yeah, was a yeah. great movie with him in it. That was really good. <laughs> Actually, in the room in Abu Dhabi after Bilal won, who walked in? Steven Seagal. I'm not, I swear to God. I, I just remember this now. I'm not making this up. Are you serious? I have a picture of him with our training partner, Lewis Taylor. He walked in out of nowhere. It was like... <laughs> what was weird. he wearing? He looked like Steven Seagal. Okay. Like, <laughs> like he had like a like a, a robot, like a he robot. Had, he had a robot, yeah. like a tribal necklace, oh, yeah, yeah. some stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. but he walked. I, totally, I forgot about that until now. But he walked in. In this room is like I'm there because of Bilal, but like we had Khabib in there, we had Islam in there. We have like some. I'm not trying to be ignorant, but like I think we have some sheiks. I don't know, like some freaking like big royalty. time like royalty in the in the training room with us. Uh, like Frank Fertitta came in the room. Dana White was in the room. So I felt like high class at the moment at that time. <laughs> <laughs> that was what brought in Steven Seagal. Somehow he got part of the yeah, situation. Yeah, like Steven Seagal. I was so yeah, he he there. just walks in by himself. Like he just like appears out of nowhere. He does it in the movies. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just find it fascinating that this guy just started popping up at the MMA yeah. scene. I think a lot of that martial arts stuff is just complete bullshit. Well, yeah. Because yeah, it is. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason why there aren't any just straight Aikido fighters in the ufc no. or an mma aikido is garbage i mean right. i'm sure there's like one or two like wrist locks you could have if someone's grabbing you and that's cool that's fine but that you could be taught that in like a youth wrestling room you know yeah. no but like yeah the whole anderson silva says steven skull thing that was weird the whole like i feel like the whole mma world was weirded out by that yeah and that's why it was like a one-time deal right you know right. so maybe for anderson it was like maybe he watched his movies and was a fan and was like hey well i have an extra corner are you free this time? <laughs> <laughs> No. Wait, so what did he do when he walked in the room then? Who did he, like, what was yeah, he doing like, then? Yeah, elaborate on that. Yeah. He just started talking to all these, yeah, you know, like, I'm not trying to be angry. All the princes? Like, all these, like, yeah, all the princes and sheiks and all these stuff. He just started talking oh, to all of them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. and then at one point, uh, our trainer partner, Lewis Taylor, like, got, like, a handshake with him. I took a, I sent a quick photo of it, sent it to him. Oh, no. Yeah, he was just, dude, like, it was mind-blowing because it's, I'm in one room, <laughs> you know, like, I'm a kid from, I'm, a, I'm an Irish kid from Chicago. I'm a Catholic from Chicago. I'm over here in Abu Dhabi right. with Dana White, friends of Vertita, uh, these sheiks and Steven Seagal. And, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then you have Khabib over there just kind of staring at you. I, I think Khabib's in love with me over here, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. A lot of thoughts happening at once. <laughs>